Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. We're on to the divisional round now. Two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Chiefs going up against the Patriots. Well, the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Coming up, it's divisional round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. This fielded at the two. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Here we go now. Over, 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 over. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. So here we go. First and 10 now. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. They run. This is Lewis. And an alley to run. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out and they have to start over after the penalty. Green 39! Green 39! They'll set up to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Gronkowski the intended target and that'll bring up second down but he kind of forced that one there didn't he it's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football yeah he wasn't really going through progressions he wanted to go to his top guy you do that against this defense they'll make you pay won't they yeah they certainly will they react very quickly to the thrown football Side caught Hogan and heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 41 yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down.
Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're on to the divisional round now. Two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Chiefs going up against the Patriots. Well, the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. This one taken from the seven. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. carry now for Kareem Hunt and able to get this one all the way up to about the 46 yard line nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one he was solid last week over 100 yards in their victory on the ground they want to get that going again absolutely what they also understand is that from week to week it's not necessarily the same but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. A good pick up there, a 22. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Mahomes now on first down. On target over the middle of the hill. And he'll go down at the 28. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This dude is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. All right, here we go. Green, 30, Detroit, Detroit! Mahomes to throw once more. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. you still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. It's Mahomes again, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. The gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. Third and one, who are you going to call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man, hand him the ball, and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. So now it's first and goal. This on first and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means an awful lot. They'll try and run with McKinnon. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek 
Jarek McCannon taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his first pass is incomplete. He was looking for Edelman there, and that'll bring up second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That's taken on the 25. Touchdown, Tyreek Hill, 75 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. And we always talk about kick returns being so exciting on kickoffs. Punt return almost equally exciting. And typically we talk about the kickoff return being the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Let's just cut it in half for a punt return and make it the most exciting five seconds in football. It's a great, glamorous, dashing play. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Fresh set of downs here. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time, and it's third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Third down here for the check, offense check, check, check. after the incomplete pass. Green, 39! Green, 39! 
They're going to look to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Well, it doesn't take any great analysis. No jokes, partner, okay? All right, on this one. But we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward. There's going to be two guys on him on just about every snap. It's kind of a dare to throw his way, but they have to keep throwing his way. The benefits could be great. You throw it to a great receiver, he could come down with it anyway. 31 yards on the punt there, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. In with Hunt. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Throwing now is Mahomes. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 47 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh. Look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Patriots coming out now. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. They try again with Lewis, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. That catch good for five. It's third down. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. He'll drop to throw. This is White on the screen. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Now Lewis. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Again, it's Lewis. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. They'll look to throw. He completes it right side to White. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And there is nothing easy about being a kicker on a day like this. Yeah, I tell you, not only is the footing tough in the snow, but kicking that ball is like kicking a rock. Very difficult to get any sort of feel on your kicks. They'll start with Hunt on the ground, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. That one goes for 24 yards. And in this weather, and I know you weren't a quarterback, you were on the defensive side of things, but how hard is it to throw that football? It can't be easy because you never know how the moisture is going to affect things, and each quarterback handles it differently. Some of them are a little bit better than others. Depends on whether we wear a glove, not wear a glove. How cold is it? You know, all those things go into it. But it goes to everything else. Keeping your footing when you're running routes. Supposedly, you have the advantage as a receiver because you know where you're going. But that's not easy as well. Finally, just locating the ball when it finally comes through the snow. Kids love it. Kids love snow. Players, not so much at times. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Blue 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try to help against the run. On the run, this is Hunt. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great play there. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Set to return. This is Brandon Cooks. Fights loose. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally <laughs> I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. They'll look to throw now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he lost the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. going to hand it off to Hunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. So it's on. Hold that thought, Mr. Ridley. We've got a trip to the title game on the line. Folks are eager to get right back to the action. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because... We often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Back to throw now on second and 10. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. 
For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. They'll set up a throw. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is... Just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Let's go! Detroit! Detroit! Let's go! They'll run it now out of the gun. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nineteen. Three, nine. Back to throw. Taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Let's go! Blue 90! Blue 90! Now they'll run with Lewis. And a short gain down to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. fake. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. New England on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is leveled. Knocked down hard. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. Well, I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter. As he'll go for it on fourth down. Back to throw here. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. 
Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. All right, here we go. They go play action here on first down. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. That one goes for 24 yards. Winding down. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third and ten now. Time running out here on the play clock. From midfield, here's Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. And the play clock's running down. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe right, his bench go. was. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him 14 on the play. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Second down, they need less than a yard to pick up the first. but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The Chiefs on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. They're up against a third and one situation. They run again with Hunt. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Andy Reid, some say always unpredictable, and here he says, we're going for it on fourth down. Mahomes takes it himself, and he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Get there, get there, get there, get there. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Now this time, Mahomes will throw. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Hunt gets it. 
gets it on the draw from the homes. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and seven. Play clock winding down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Back on the left, back on the left, Billy. Here we go. Now let's go. Ah! They'll try to run with Hunt. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop over. Exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Finding some room at midfield. Gronkowski got it on the crossing round. 18 big yards on that one and a New England first down. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Big. You're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. They'll drop the throw. Flush to his right. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he's got room. And look out. I think he's gonna go and he will score touchdown kansas city that's the story of the game they've been suffocating all game long on defense they were suffocating there again in a big way and they've done it not just by out athleting them which is often the case but by being able to adjust to anything they try to and it's no good he missed it wide to the left So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> 
Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. snap as they'll look to throw now he's flushed out left and he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop he'll end up getting five out of that but now they're looking at third down now they gotta get quickly now how about that play he took the possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit and that is incomplete Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he's on to punt for New England. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. Loose. It'll go as a gain of nine. And it gives the Pats a first down. So they snap it straight to the up man. What's his responsibility? Normally, obviously, just to protect, but he's got to be a guy that can be pretty agile too, right? Yeah, without a doubt, because you're talking about a guy, even in protection, he may have to slide up and down the line of scrimmage to pick up someone who comes through trying to block a punt. So you know he's got that ability to move. But oftentimes, it's a usual you know, running back, a fullback, someone who's used to having the ball in their hands, and he's able to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now back to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. to throw eluding the pressure right and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock will be incomplete. He was looking to find some space for Deion Lewis there. Third down here. So this is one interceptions, that confident veneer that you have. It's chipped away a little bit. Maybe a little bit gun-shy throwing it around. Yeah, under-throwing him there, and you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Goes underneath here to White. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. And then so after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Back to throw now on first down. Slant route caught by Edelman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. 